Welcome to another short kit video from the Vickers MG Collection and Research Association. Now this is the metallic Sankster or decimals produced uh, metallic belt that was introduced really quite early in the Great War. So we've got, we're currently going through material from the early part of the Great War in the war diaries available from the National Archives. The Inspector General of Communications war diaries are bringing up some really interesting stuff. A lot of which relates to you know, the introduction of metal belts. Clearly they are you know, not susceptible to water, damp and gas. They can be decontaminated, so they were quite attractive to use. They're also able to be repaired and replaced quite easily. So they're just split pins in individual links. So you can you know, remove a split pin, if we can just do that now, look, and break the belt. Which if you're trying to produce perhaps 60 round, um, oh, sorry, 60, why would you do produce 60? It's a silly number. Uh, 50 round or... Um, 25 round lengths of belt for short purposes uh, or have the full hundred uh, full 250 round belts uh, they were to be delivered in 50 round lengths actually with enough uh, enough uh, split pins to be able to produce and, and create you know, the full 250s and they were being issued originally at four per gun so you know, there's there should be a lot out there um, but there isn't because you know, once it's fired, it gets damaged. You know, these are quite easily damaged. Uh, it's going to be, it was lost. Now, we, we, we've got this really crisp example in the collection, which hopefully you've seen us fire from in our videos. Uh, what, you, what we also have is, the, uh, is a relic piece, and you can see some of the damage to it here. And this is one of the original tabs as well. So we've got that slightly longer relic piece, which is equally of, you know, of interest. It shows some great... Um, you know, sh shows you of, of use. We don't know where this came from, uh, sadly. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're all marked. You can see up in here the Acme patent. Um, yeah, what, what's the uh, what's the marks on on this one? Is it the same? No, it's a slightly different manufacturer's mark. Look, uh, Crittle Hope is that? So yeah, it's um, you know two different types there. Quite nice to see, but we, you know, it's commonly referred to as the Sankster um, belt, similar to Sankster or Auxiliary Mount. It came from decimals. We believe it's Thomas Sankster might have patented it, um, but we do have this little length in the collection, and we have you know, put some rounds through it to show how it works. So hopefully that's been um, something you've seen. One of the things that we did know was that this was issued for Maxims and Vickers, but it didn't work in what we have, the converted Maxims. Now, the converted Maxims were... Originally 0.45 inch, uh, as were British rifles uh, prior to the introduction of the 303, and they some of those were converted to fire 303 and were still in service at the start of the Great War. But because the feed block was dramatically different, this actually doesn't run through that feed block nicely. So there is a you know, one of the reasons for machine gun statements during the early 1915 period was to work out how many converted Maxim were still in service and how many therefore would have this problem of using this belt because they could only use the web belt. Uh, but that's a little aside for now. Hopefully that's been of interest and you, know, you continue to subscribe to the channel, support us on Patreon where you can and you know, watch these videos. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. Please support us on Patreon if you're able to and let us know of anything you'd like to see in the future. I look forward to hearing from you.